Hello everyone and welcome to our 60 minutes. So everybody who's on TikTok, this is a 60 minute video. We are literally doing 60 minute videos to create the, no one else is doing it. No one else has the capability, the capacity, the education, the interest level. They don't, they don't have anything to offer. They're not attractive even. They are shallow, weird, and horrific people that men support and fuel their businesses off of their wealth of corruption. And so what we're doing is we are making a video that's 60 minutes long where we are going to basically look through, I don't know what we're gonna look through. I don't even know what we're gonna produce. Why are you still here if you're so uninterested? We all know Gary Vaynerchuk and Mona Vand are again on another vacation, likely in the Hamptons, attending parties with Kamala Harris, with a bunch of traitors to the United States of America. We know that you are terrorists in this world, in this country, who offer absolutely nothing, just like John Legend and his weird ass plastic face wife. We all know that I'm destroying Hollywood and influencer existence because you are not contributing to society. You are robbing us of our lives so that we all feel uncomfortable, full of anxiety and lack success because it doesn't live up to the ideologies of what you think success is. Although all you do in your form of success, Mona Van, is walk around in, in what you think are cute clothes. They're not cute clothes. While you hold hands and you kiss Gary Vaynerchuk and then say, that's my love. And then he says, yeah, that's my love. So that, that means that's your love, Gary Vaynerchuk. So you remember that. You remember that the next time you look at her face and see that that's the future of your existence in this country while the government falls and collapses so that you can do an influencer platform session with a dude who parties and makes money off of innocent people because people don't want to be bothered with dealing with your shit that you fucking created with South by Southwest. That goes for you too, George Clooney. They want to get into politics, yet they don't want to do any actual work that it takes. They just want to uh, fuel their careers. So while you marry a woman from the Middle East and Gary Vaynerchuk's engaged to a woman from the Middle East, and then all of you are engaged or married to people from other countries, you better fucking believe that I'm going to be fighting each and one of you who say you're American to stop you from allowing Valeria Gary from abusing the American citizens that you've disrespected since the day you started your businesses because you're a Democrat and that's actually what a Democrat represents. The reality is, is you don't give a crap about nobody except for your own fucking selves. We want to bring our first topic of question is that <clears throat> mothers are supposed to relax. If you're, if you're stressed out and your child shows up and you're feeling upset, you're supposed to learn how to relax and not let your child know that you're upset. However, what they do is let me read this again. Mothers are supposed to relax during stress to protect a child even when they are stressed. However, what your wives, your fiancés, and the women that you're involved in, the people that you work with, when a child shows up, they tell the child that they're feeling bad, which is what we saw with Lily's mother. She cries in her face and she whines, just like she whines in all of her other videos, lowers the the experience of everybody in the world so that she can get the attention of a four-year-old who the four-year-old then takes on that stress and then the mother doesn't have to stress anymore and then says she's a good mom by showing off how rich they are with money and gold and jewelry Gary V.
So while a mother is supposed to relax during stress and protect their child from the evils of the Hamptons, you take your kids there. You make them sit in those nasty groups of people while you act like you're such a big man on campus talking business, figuring out ways to manipulate audiences and finagle through the laws that keep us safe away from people like you. So they're trying to break down the walls of the laws so that they can make more money off influencer where all they do is show off their fancy outfits on the street corner like Mona Van did in her in her content platform. Look at me at VCon. The most important thing at VCon is what you're going to fucking wear. Look at VCon and look at how shallow you all fucking are. And that's the future of business. Well, JT Barnett says, be kind to people. You'll get more shit. Yeah. Okay. That's called fake. That's how people don't get in trouble for being bad. You just pretend like it didn't fucking happen. You're going to tell me, JT Barnett, that you're going to sit there and you're going to talk about cynicism. And you're going to tell us that you get more work done with, with not being cynical than with being cynical, which is fucking common sense. However, the fact is of the matter is that your fucking organized crime group are fucking sadistic and all you expect is to be told yes constantly. That's called Gestapo, is it not? You sitting there telling us a woman in a bikini top is normal behavior and content coming off communist China with no respect, no values, and no fucking trust to anyone in this fucking world so that we can live being splashed by water by Mona Van, you fucking pricks. A fucking Persian. Well, all the audience just stands there and says, wow, I'm a blue, I'm a Democrat. Well, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, you better fucking cry your eyes out, you little bitch-ass neighbor. You little fucking losers next door who are literally fucking evil as shit. Lazy as fuck and do nothing but terrorize the fucking neighborhood with your bitch ass personality. The scum of the fucking earth are the form of a Democrat piece of shit, an influencer, and a fucking Hollywood celebrity. And that's the fucking truth. And you fucking know it. You are fucking all fucking slime balls. Don't listen to what he says. Watch what he fucking does. And guess what, bitch? I fucking watch what you fucking do and what you fucking say and see how you don't fucking help nobody but your fucking ego and your fucking dick and your fucking fake ass fucking shit. You are a fucking loser, all of you pieces of shit. You don't help anyone but figure out how to get on fucking camera. You all are fucking the devil. Your fucking whore bitches are the fucking devil. Every man and woman who have a relationship that they display on fucking influencer platform are the fucking devil. Do you fucking hear me, Gary V? Anybody who stood at the DNC is the motherfucking devil, you pieces of shit. And you're going to get what you fucking deserve, all of you.